Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Pauline Michelle. Um, if you are new here and this is the first time watching one of my videos, welcome. Thank you for clicking in to watch this video. Um, if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you for staying subscribed and being patient for videos. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you click that subscribe button. Click the like button on this video as well and click the notification bell so that you will know when I post new videos, new content, which is going to come more often now that this is behind me. Thank you, Jesus. So this video today is all about my NCLEX journey. Um, oh my, oh my, oh my. Um, my school has a 100% pass rate, but I was not prepared mentally for what I sat for. And I'm just going to share with you guys uh, this experience. If you are planning on attending, I'm um, sitting for the NCLEX soon. You're going to want to stay tuned. You're going to want to watch this video and you're going to want to listen to everything that I say. So I sat for the NCLEX on um, June 6th of this year 2019 and NCLEX was a different kind of test for me I did take the ATI prep test which was kind of supposed to prepare you for the NCLEX it's kind of like the same kind of questions it asks you um, questions in the same kind of categories so um, our school made us take that test it was almost like our exit exam so um, we had that basis in testing to help us and of course all of our tests during nursing school kind of prepared us for the pattern of tests that we would experience in the NCLEX. So my NCLEX experience, I, I vlog, tried to vlog some of it, but I tell you guys, when I got there, it was just over. I got there, I was scheduled for a 2 p.m. test time. I got there at about 1.20, 1.15, because they want you to be there 30 minutes early, but I wanted to get there a little bit earlier just in case. I got there, got registered, got in, got to my seat, and I started to answer the questions. And the questions, you get six hours to answer the questions. You can take a break whenever you'd like to take a break, but you get like two schedule breaks. So you can take the schedule breaks when they pop up on your screen, or you can just raise your hand and let them know you have to take a break. So as I was answering these questions, I'm like, okay. The first few questions, I was like, all right, they were asking me things that I may not have been very familiar with, but I felt like I was able to narrow those things down. Um, then things got a little crazy. I got a lot of uh, select all that applies. So I got a little nervous, but I heard that that was a good thing. So I just kept on answering the questions. And you guys, my friend took the test and she, the test cut off for her at 75 questions. So I was under the impression that I my test was going to cut off for me at 75 questions. That did not happen. Because I thought my questions were going to cut off at 75, I did not pace myself. My friend told me, she was like, go slow, take your time. So that's what I was doing. And I think I took too much time on the first 75 questions to the point, guys, that the test did not cut off. Um, I kept going, the test would not cut off. 100, test would not cut off. 150, test would not cut off. 180, until I got to 200 questions, the test did not cut off. I was like, oh my God. I looked at the time, I was at 200 questions, and I had like an hour left of testing. Yes, I was at five hour mark. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe that I am still here taking this freaking test. Never in a thousand years would I have thought that I would have took been there six hours to take a six hour test but this was the test that would shape the rest of my career this was a determining test for the rest of my life if if this test was failed in my state you would have to wait between 45 to 90 days to retest and i have a job waiting for me in two weeks that i'm supposed to start so i could not i could not fail this test so i took my time <laughs> I kept going. I kept going. And guys, I ran out of time at 2.33. Oh my, oh my, oh my, is, the, is what I said to myself. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my. I could not believe that I just ran out of time. Yeah. I ran out of time. Oh. 
because I ran out of time, I literally wanted to kill myself. I wanted to jump over a bridge. I was like, I was so, I was stressing so much because I was like, nobody talks about this. Nobody says what's going to happen if you freaking run out of time. They only talk about, oh, they're, the test is going to cut off when they know whether you're going to pass and they know whether you're going to fail. When you've convinced them, the test is going to cut off and the test never cut off for me. So I never convinced them. <laughs> So I was just telling myself, I said, okay, so I'm on the line. I'm on the line. I'm either passing really close or I'm either failing really close. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to think. My mind was going crazy. I did not want to do the PVT trick. I did not want to do the quick results. I just did not want to know anything. So this was Thursday that I test. And I knew that I could know the results 48 hours after, but it was business days. So I was like, okay, so this is the weekend. So Friday would have been 24 hours. And the 48 hours would not be until Monday. Okay? But I knew that um, I had the whole weekend to struggle through. So I was like, I can make this. I could just wait it out and see what happens. So I decided to thug it out through the weekend. And I thugged it out through the weekend. So I was like, okay, Monday morning. Monday morning, I'm going to check my email. It's going to be an email. And this email is going to say whether I pass or fail. Or it's going to have my license. Because my friend, she got an email with her license number before she actually got her quick results. So I was like, this is going to happen to me. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I said, Jesus, please let this happen to me. Because I don't want to look. And then I realized that to retest was going to take so much time. So I knew I needed to know. I needed to prepare myself. So what I did was... Um, I didn't get an e email on Monday. I waited till Tuesday. Tuesday I got an email. But uh, Tuesday was the, the day that I was going to actually either do the PVT trick or I was going to go ahead and pay for my quick results. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do because I've heard that the PVT trick could very well be wrong. So I did not want to get my hopes up and then be, you know, let down or be let down. And then, you know, I didn't want to go through that whole process. So I was like, I'm just going to probably pay the $8. Well, when I, um, I worked the night shift. So I worked Monday night. I am a patient care tech on a CBICU floor. So when I woke up from my sleeping, I checked my email like I always do. And there was an email there from the labor and licensing licensing regulation for the state that i live in and it said we are pleased to inform that you have been awarded a license a permanent nursing license so i was like oh my god i passed <laughs> your girl passed your girl passed and I went on the <laughs> NCLEX website. I looked at a bunch of videos for other people that had ran out of time and passed. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll pass. I, I looked at a lot of videos. Well, how do they determine if you pass if you run out of time? It was like the last 60 questions. If you're over the mark the whole time, you're good. Or the estimate is over the mark the whole time, you're good. So I was like, oh my God, I passed. I'm good. I passed. I am a registered nurse. I'm a registered nurse. Like, RN is behind my name. <laughs> yeah, so I am freaking excited. Um, in my state, if you are a patient care tech and you receive your license, once your license is posted, you no longer can work as a patient care tech. So I am not working. Um, my new job does not start until the 24th of this month. So unless they bring me in earlier for some sort of orientation, I am going to be home chilling for the next um, 12 10, 11 days. <laughs> so this would have been the time where I could have taken a super duper like magical vacation, but I did not prepare myself. I do not have the money to do that. So I will be home. I'll be filming videos for you guys <laughs> because I have free time. I'm going to put out videos for you. So I thought this would be a great first video for all my new nurses or all my nursing students out there. You guys prepare yourself. Don't listen to everybody else's journeys because everybody else's journey is not going to be your journey. Your journey is going to be your journey. See, just prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for your journey. 
because it's it's going to be what builds you. Whatever it is you need in your life is how your journey is going to play out. So yeah, so patience and control was taken control was taken away from me. I had to be patient. But thank God I passed and I am a registered nurse. <laughs> So yes, so I hope that this um, video helped you guys um, see how I prepared for um, the NCLEX. It was hard. That's my NCLEX experience. I will um, have another video showing you guys how I actually prepared myself for the test, what I did, how I studied, all that good stuff, um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about my actual day experience how the process worked for me and how I went about getting my results so thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned for the rest of the videos talking more about how I prepare myself thank you guys for watching like I said if you're not subscribed subscribe like this video click the notification so that we can make sure you know when the next ones are coming up bye bye and good luck on your future.